My name is Yolanda Blue Horse. I am Lakota. I am Sioux. I am a member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe from South Dakota. I've been asked to come here today to help gain support for a protest that's coming up. As some of you may know, in the news, in the media, more so on social media, there has been a lot of talk about the pipeline that is attempting to get laid down in North Dakota. This pipeline, if in fact gets laid down, will affect millions and millions of gallons of drinking water in that area. Most importantly, it will affect the drinking water of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. Once that pipeline breaks, it's not a matter of if it will break, it's a matter of when. It will flow down the Missouri River, it will affect the farm, the local farmlands, and it will affect the drinking water of not only human beings, but of animals too. The American Indian Movement of Central Texas, along with many other organizations, are coming together on September 2nd to the headquarters of the corporation behind this pipeline. Energy Transfer Partners is responsible for laying down this pipeline and is responsible for laying many other pipelines as well and have future projects at hand. We ask you to come and join us, Native Americans of Texas, along with the many other tribes. There is a belief within my people that this pipeline is known as the black snake. And when the black snake comes across this continent, what we call Turtle Island, it will destroy. There have been many pipeline spills that are not published in the media, that are not broadcasted for obvious reasons. But I want you to think about this one getting laid down. We as a people need to come together. It's not just that this water, if this pipeline breaks, when it breaks, that will affect my brothers, my relatives of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in North Dakota, but it will affect all of us. The food you buy in the stores, the potatoes, all the crops that come from these farmers, you buy these foods in these stores, in your local stores. You will be directly affected by it. You can be. There's many other fallouts that I'm sure we have not even thought that will happen in the next 20 or 30 years. But more importantly, these pipelines are destroying our land, our water. And there's so much more collateral damage it's going to do. The American Indian Movement of Central Texas is asking you, as well as any other environmental group, animal rights group, earth protector, water protector, and you as a concerned citizen to come together and join us on September 2nd at the Energy Transfer Partners Headquarters at 8111 Westchester Drive in Dallas, Texas. We will hold a protest, not only to protest the pipeline, but to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. And we are all brothers and sisters. It is not about race. It is not about color, religious beliefs, or anything. It's important that we come together as one because this is the only planet that we have to live on. And once the big oil corporations have ravished this land and ravished this continent and drained it for every bit of its worth, what will we as the people be left with? My name is Yolanda Blue Horse, and I ask you as a member of the American Indian Movement of Central Texas, and I ask you to stand with us on September 2nd.